Hare Krishna. We may not be interested in politics, but politics is interested in us. Many people nowadays consider politics to be a dirty business. And it is true that there is a lot of evil manipulation and exploitation that goes on in politics. In fact, few accusations are as stinging as telling someone you are doing politics. And yet, it is an undeniable fact that politics is just an integral part of human society. Politics in the sense of politic, a system for political administration of society is required. And for such a system, sometimes there will be people who will misoperate it, who will manipulate it. And if people decide to stay away from the politics, in terms of not participating in the political system, not being concerned about the political system, the political system is still going to control them and is going to affect them. So therefore, the Bhagavad Gita, which is a transcendental book, talking about how to attain transcendence, is not unconcerned about the political rule of the times. In fact, when Krishna descends to this world, he says one of his purpose is, is to establish dharma. He says in 4.7 and 8 that paritranaya sadhunam vinashaya duskritam dharma samsthapana arthaya sambhavami yuge yuge. He descends to establish dharma. Now dharma refers, if you consider the context of the Bhagavad Gita, it refers ultimately to the spiritual order by which humanity can unite in love with divinity. But in its immediate context, it also refers to the socio-political order that will further that spiritual order. So Krishna wanted to establish Pandavas and Yudhishthira as the ruler so that Dharma would rule. And in fact, prior to this, four verses earlier, uh, Krishna talks about how there was a tradition by which this spiritual knowledge was passed down through a system of political rulers who were also spiritual seers. Evam parampara praptam imam rajirisha yoviduhu Sakale ne hamahata yogo nashtaha parantapa. In the fourth chapter, Krishna says that in this way, in a tradition of disciplic succession, this knowledge was passed down by the Rajarushis. The word Rajarushi is a compound word. As Raja is king, Rushi is sage. Or the king is the outer ruler, and the sage is the inner seer. So the Raja Rushi is a compound word which indicates that these are not just political rulers, but they are also spiritual seers. So what Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita is that these are the kind of rulers whom he wants to empower, whom he wants to get to power. Now we, when we have to apply the Bhagavad Gita in our lives, our primary focus is on becoming inner seers by getting the spiritual knowledge the Gita has given. But simultaneously, we have to appreciate that the Bhagavad Gita is not only about world transcending spirituality, it is also about world transforming spirituality. And to that extent, in whatever way possible, we can also contribute to bringing spirituality more and more into the lives of others and to infuse spirituality in the broad socio-political system of the world. That is how Krishna fulfills the purpose of establishing dharma through speaking the Gita and empowering Arjuna to fight for establishing dharma. And that is what we too are meant to do as students of the Bhagavad Gita. Thank you. Hare Krishna.